we are on the way to the mountains at the wheel Kathy Lou speeding as always I'm not actually because if I speed it has a really annoying beeping sound anyway three hour drive to the mountains for a for a little staycation we honestly that was close then driving into that did you realise no it was wasn't it a little bit brilliant almost just crashed and we're about 15 minutes in three hour drive into oh, the no. mountains to a place called Jebel Shams and I hate that name for some reason. We're staying in a dome apparently, we don't have a clue what we're doing, but it's going to be some downtime, which is much needed for me because otherwise I don't stop and this one gets annoyed at me. Okay. No, but it is needed. I do need to switch off sometimes and that's what I'm going to do, but I'm going to show you what we're doing. So, yeah. Radios stop working, and this is all that we can get access to. Three hours of this. What? I love it. Make it louder. Okay. <laughs> we can't let we can't get the phone sorted onto it. No. Um, Why is it only coming up with three things? When do we what well, you can't sync your phone up when you're moving? No, because it's Bluetooth, like they recognise that you're driving, so not much. Oh, clever. No, but annoying. Yeah. <laughs> God. How, how long do we have left? Uh, an hour and 18 minutes. Hour and 18. Yeah. Um, currently, we are in the middle of nowhere. Oh, look at this road, actually. That's actually. Right. actually. There's a whole lot of nothing around here and everything looks the same. And it absolutely baffles me as to uh, people living out here. Look, see those houses in the middle of nowhere. And we just drove past the bowling alley as well, in the middle of nowhere. It's just a whole, it, it looks like you're on a different planet. I do actually feel like that. It feels like, um, I can't remember what film it is, like The Martian, have you seen that? No, I don't so. Matt Damon. No. Yeah, I feel like I'm in that. I mean, look, there's some huge houses, but... Is anyone there? Though? There is nothing around, absolutely nothing. Crazy. Well, we almost crashed in the middle of nowhere, but where where are we? We are in. Um. Don't know, but it's lively. No, there's no sign. Heard it's it's great for a night out here. Apparently, isn't it? It is. As if there's a bloke on a Vespa. You don't see motorbikes here. Here he goes. Go on, son. No helmet on. Standard. But yeah, it's big big night out here. Like big rave scene, I think. Uh, Al Salama. Al, Al Salama. Yeah, if you haven't heard of it, good night out. I recommend it. Uh, Al Salama says. Got a good football team as well. Al Salama United. Yeah, it's huge here actually. There's a lot going on. We are stuck behind some slow people. Honestly, we're going, we're, we're well, on the way up. Oh, everyone's overtaken. It's carnage. We're on the way up though. Oh, We've got so about 20 minutes, 25 minutes left. Yeah, load of tourists around here though. Now we're flying. Yes. Road rage from Kathy. Oh. Up in the mountains. We're now off road. It's got serious. Dust everywhere. Oh. It's hurting my back a bit. Yeah. I'm like clenching. 15 minutes left, is it? 17 minutes. 17 minutes. 17 more minutes of off roading. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I 
think we're here. We're here. We're here Jebel at Jebel Sham, Jebel Sham Domes. And there's one car. We can see. Oh, we can see two domes. It's been interesting. The temperatures dropped just over 10 degrees, I think, since we've been climbing. And it's now 20 degrees, so it's actually going to feel quite a bit cooler than we're used to because it's been about 32 still, 30, 30 degrees, 32 degrees. You know, good driving, good skills. Thank you. Here we are, see what happens. <gasps> Not good for the old back, all of that. You're the only one smelling is it? Is it only two domes? I don't know, it looks like. Oh, this is a nice temperature. <laughs> Let's see what this is like. Oh my god. I'm not used to this air. A little bit fresher. There's a dome there. Can you see that? Interesting. Right, let's go. So there's there's no one around and there's just two two of these domes here. And then like nothing around but cats just called. Someone said three minutes and they'll come and let us in. There's someone walking over here now, is there? Right. So now we just got to wait for someone to come and let us in, I guess. <laughs> How many do? How? I'm a bit confused. So am I. Is that cool though? Yeah. You see these sort of things in England, don't you? But maybe not with uh, this sort of stuff around. Well, I reckon that's the shower block. <laughs> the toilet block. The shower block? Yeah, I reckon the shower's been there. What, what are we doing? How random. Well, here we are. Here's our dome. <laughs> it's so random. Um, let me uh, give you a room tour. Right. Oh, trip up into there. There's the bed. I think cat's in the toilet. And then, that is it. This is the dome for the night. Apparently there's a restaurant that we're gonna to go to for dinner and you can have breakfast as well. So that's a little bit of a drive away. But yeah, this is it for the night. We've decided to venture out. It's very peaceful here. It looks like there's some sort of hawk circling above us as well. You seen that cage? Ah. Middle of nowhere. Let's go and have a look. See the scenes. See what life's like on Mars. Oh. <gasps> Almost stack it over the edge. No, so quiet, isn't it? Damn. Oh. I feel like I need to concentrate, otherwise I'm just yeah. over the edge. Yeah, cool. It's just like a cool rock formation. We are high up. Yeah, we are. We are high. Say, say hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, hi. Nice. Jebel Shams and people camp up here. There's yeah, look, yeah, that one. Cool looking bed. Don't think I'll get that on there, will I? An eagle or hawk? Dunno. Probably some sort of hawk. There's people camp like all up over there. Yeah. Nice. In true Omani fashion, we've just left where we were. Look at that. It's like a cafe. There is nothing around. But it looks pretty nice, to be fair. It looks quite modern. Little bit that you can set up at the top. Found another little viewpoint now. <sighs> oh, you look so close to the edge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> prefer if you didn't.
Here we are. Quite Grand Canyon-esque. And there's a cafe. True Omani random style. As if it couldn't get any more random. We're at the top of this cafe with that view there. And then... Oh, now we have to see it. Oh. <laughs> nice. The sun looks epic, but you can't see it. And then we've got hot chocolate and an Oreo cheesecake in the middle of nowhere. Try it. Thoughts? Come on, try it. Mm. Tastes like an ice cream, but hot. Mm. You know what I mean? Here we go. Mm. Yeah? That's good. The verdict is good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, texture's good. I'm just gonna get that. A bit lemony. <laughs> mm. That's good though. Oh, oh, there you can see the sun now. So random. I think that sums up a man perfectly. Random as hell, isn't it? There's, there's a cat behind us as well. And there's goats everywhere. Pretty cool though. Pretty cool. And then we're going to have dinner later on. Right, we're at this. What would you even call this? Is it a hotel? It's not it's a, a hotel. It's a hotel, yeah. Kind of a hotel with loads of different places. The restaurant's there. And they serve dinner seven till nine, but apparently we we were we turned up at five past seven. And they're like, no, sorry, there's no space. So we've been put in a hut on our own. <laughs> there's cat having food. And it is actually quite cold, which I'm not prepared for because I'm in shorts and t-shirt. But they're giving us a little fire. It is quite warm, but we're very, very secluded here. The food actually looks good. Mm -hmm. Tastes good. Mm -hmm. so we've got like just a plate of salady stuff. You have as well. And then um, they make, they're making pasta like in front of you. And then there's some dessert. So we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna sit in our hut on our own <laughs> and have some food, and then call it a night. I reckon. Pasta station. Pasta station. How excited are you for pasta? Not great. <laughs> <laughs> it would definitely be the most um, <laughs> chatty. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're absolutely clear. Oh, I'm all hot now. Damn. All hot now. Sweaty. My fleece. <laughs> <laughs> Fresh pasta. Thank you very much. Thank you. Finally, we've made it. We've managed to sneak inside. <laughs> Uh, I'm try the I feel like I'm going to choke. We've been waiting for half an hour and now we're allowed, we're allowed indoors. I'm out, I'm going to dribble. Sounds like we're in lockdown. We're allowed indoors. That's good. Is that? Pasta's a bit al dente. Oh. Got some more Ooh, salad yeah. and some, uh, some more cheesecake as well. Mm. It's good, isn't it? Good, good amount of kick. Yeah, I was going to say, because that's a little spice. Mm -hmm. I can get my chicken on the side. Good morning. Woken up to a delightful sound of construction or a digger or something. But anyway, slept alright. Woke up about a million times, I think. It's quite cold. But, um, yeah, it's alright. 
There you go. Blue sky everywhere. Gonna go and get breakfast where we got where we had dinner last night and then we've got we're doing a hike late or yeah a little hike today and then we'll make our way back. Nice scenes. Quite a nice temperature. Everything around me here. Yeah. There's loads of building work going on there, so it's, it's not the ideal place. But yeah. Night in the pod done. We had neighbours last night as well. But they're they're snakes. Absolute snakes. They got to the restaurant last night for dinner before us. And we couldn't sit in the restaurant. They've left before us now, so done it again, haven't they? Done it again, but that's because Kat, she just doesn't want to wake up. Never gets up. Anyway, breakfast time. <laughs> we've, just, uh, we've just had breakfast. And it's just about to turn 9 a.m., so it's nice and early, and we're doing this, this hike called Oh, called the balcony walk. Um, there's goats everywhere, and I've decided I love goats. But here they are. They keep sneezing, all of these. Right, lads. Load of goats here. Look at this, they've got nice, nice scenery to look out on. <laughs> sneezing, isn't he? This one's a sneezer. Look at that, right on the edge. Looks like he's going to jump. <laughs> no way. Oh, what a pick. <laughs> no, they're sneezing. Wave at the camera. We're now official, I'm a hiker. We've been trekking now for seven hours. Eight. Eight, hour, eight hours, and it's 10 o'clock, not even that, maybe. Yeah. Look at the scenes. You can hear goat, mm. big old canyon. This might come out really loud. Oh, I want to do the echo thing again. What should I say? Ready? Shh. Do you hear that go? Yeah. All right. I feel like there's people close by. I'm going to make it echo really loudly. Hi! Oh. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> so, what was that? <laughs> nice. A little bit further and then we'll head back, yeah? Nice shot. Huh? Uh -huh. About halfway back to the car, would you say? Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. Getting a bit warmer. A bit hot, yeah. Nice breeze. Out of breath. Still early in the day. About half ten, I think. Yeah. Come on, Em. Easy way to get steps in. On a Saturday morning. I'm definitely going to stack it now. This is quite cool on any uh, trail slash hike around to know that you're moving in the right way and mark the rocks with a flag. So hopefully you can't really go wrong. Uh. Scenes. Scenes. <laughs> <laughs> 